dolls welcome back to Diva Doll Flawless today's video is going to be on a crafting haul from Walmart I picked up some refills for my laminator and this is the exact laminator that I purchased um, and I like it and I when I picked up these refills I ended up watching a crafting haul from Diva Tam 27 and she showed another brand that was a better deal for our laminator so I might end up returning these and getting the ones that she showed in her video for my Xyron sticker maker I found these refill cartridges on a random end cap in Walmart so um, they it was for a end cap that had clearance on it so I paid five dollars for each of these I got two repositional one permanent if you don't know what the Xyron sticker maker is, it pretty much looks like this and it does come, as you can see, with permanent adhesive. And then the repositional ones, I never saw them on any of the shelves at my Walmart. And when I went back to buy a refill for the permanent one, I couldn't find it where the machine was. It was just simply on that random end cap. I grabbed a couple of spools of ribbon. This one I did already use and I used it on a project that I'll share with you guys in a video. And this one was actually only a dollar. The rest of these were either between $2.97 and $1.97. Grab this very gorgeous burlap that I will be using inside of my daughter's dollhouse. And I grabbed a pack of well they call them fuzzy sticks and we always used to call them pipe cleaner so I don't know but some fuzzy sticks now they had these packs of um, paper this one is burlap and this one is printed cork and I have a couple of ideas for my daughter's dollhouse I'm thinking some rugs with the burlap and then with this one right here I plan on making a welcome mat for the front of the dollhouse because this is printed cork but you can use this for memo boards inside the house and a whole bunch of other things these beads were actually in the jewelry making section of Walmart and I'll be needing them because I plan on making like some pillows and tufted headboards and comforters or covers for the girls dollhouse craft sticks and I probably should have gotten a bigger pack of these but I'll be needing these for tons of different projects probably for fencing which I thought this one would be really cute for fencing um, but you could use them for windows just a whole bunch of a whole host of things for the house I grabbed some duct tape that I needed and I was actually trying to find the gold, this gold one in a smaller like this but unfortunately they didn't have it couple sheets of felt that I plan on using for furniture but I end up ended up using another color and I'll end up showing you that project that I made now I found over in the crafting section where they sell the stickers and all the cardstock paper in Walmart. Now your Walmart layout might be different. I know all of the different Walmarts that I go to, the layouts are always different. It kind of frustrates me, especially once I learn a Walmart and I, it's hard for me to find things. But they had this prism paper and you get two sheets and I believe this was only 99 cents. And of course, as you can tell, it has a reflective property to it. So I'll be using this as mirrors inside of the girl's dollhouse. I found these mini wooden clothespins and I was super excited because before I even went to Walmart, I had a project in mind that I wanted for these. And then these right here, I plan to either use for doll furniture easily. As you can see, this will make a cute little coffee table. And these could be end tables. Um, or you can use them to trace out shapes, to make mirrors. There's a host of things that you can do. I would keep a pack around as tracers and then maybe purchase these to make furniture with. Um, it all really depends on how creative your mindset gets with these types of things. I needed additional printer paper, but I am thinking about making for my son a race car pit stop or a parking garage. And so I found this tape. It's washi tape. It says under construction, but this was on a very far end cap in the back of the store um, where the plant section leads to the outside. And in this particular Walmart, they actually had their all of their sewing and fabric material near this so that's where I found it I would have no idea where they would put your clearance walls or clearance um, end caps in your Walmart you just simply have to 
walk around because every Walmart that I've been to is laid out differently. Okay, and the last products will be a box of tissues and these metallic glue sticks. Um, these kind of remind me of the little Mod Podge minis where you can push them into the mold and pop them out. My Froggy Stuff is a channel I would highly recommend if you're new to the whole dollhouse crafting world. Um, she makes it very kid appropriate. I've been having my 4 year old and 3 year old daughters watch her channel for a while. And it's starting to pay off because now that they have tons, even though they have tons of Barbie dollhouses and cars and all that, they are still wanting to build their own and I'm really excited about that. Uh, my husband is on board. As soon as I found out I was even ever having a daughter, the first thing I said was, can we please make her a dollhouse? <laughs> So now um, that we're starting to do this, I'm excited. All the ideas I've been having in my mind over the years, I can try to start executing them. Um, I am going to include my son and do his own male version. My sister came up with some really cool ideas for him. And I don't want to promise that I'll vlog while I'm doing it with the kids because to be perfectly honest, it will just kill my whole mommy, mommy moment with the kids. But I think what I'm going to do is share with you guys the finished product and then come back and then try to do a tutorial on my own time um, and show you guys how to do it. Or at least if there are some videos that can show you how to do it, if I get inspiration from a video, then I'll just post links to videos like that. That way YouTube doesn't interfere with this special moment I'm trying to have with my kids. Um, and then I still get to share with you guys. And that's it. I hope you dolls enjoyed the haul. And as always, and until next time, have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.